Hi Space Cats, I'm Dr Maggie Lou. welcome back to my channel. AGM feedback is a term that we hear over and over in astronomy. Sometimes it seems like when astronomers discover something that they can't explain, they'll just blame it on dark matter, dark energy, magnetic fields, or AGM feedback. But what does AGM feedback actually mean? Let's find out. AGN or active galactic nuclei are active supermassive black holes at the center of galaxies. These black holes can be millions or even billion times the mass of our sun. They feed off gas and dust material that orbit it in form of an accretion disk and this drives the huge jets and winds that give them their name active galactic nuclei. The jets can be as small as just a few light hours across, but stretch up to hundreds of thousands of light years into space. The emission is so bright that they can be seen from the ground across all different wavelengths, from UV to radio waves. On the other hand, quiescent black holes, those that are inactive, do not emit this kind of radiation. AGNs are so powerful that not only can they shape the host galaxies that they reside in, but also the galaxy cluster environment that the host galaxy lives. In particular, we know that in order to form stars, we need to have a dense concentration of gas and dust known as molecular clouds. These regions are extremely cold, just above absolute zero. That's the coldest possible temperature. And this is when the gases will become molecular. Their atoms bind together to form molecules. Eventually, when their mass exceeds some critical density, they'll collapse under their own gravity to form stars. In galaxy clusters, we have this intra-cluster medium, a rich, hot, dense gas that shines brightly in X-rays. And the brighter it shines, the cooler it is, because this process of thermal radiation causes the gas to lose heat. So we know that as we approach the center of galaxy, usually this is where you have a massive galaxy called the brightest cluster galaxy, or BCG for short. Inside of it also lives a supermassive black hole. The gas in the center is getting denser and cooler because the center of a galaxy cluster is X-ray bright. So it's at this center where you expect a lot of star formation because you're funneling all this dense cold gas that are the ingredients to form stars. This BCG should be bright and blue because of the amount of star formation that should be going on. But strangely enough, BCGs are not. BCGs are what we call red and dead. They aren't forming any stars. This is what is known as the cooling flow problem. So one solution to the cooling flow problem is the theory of AGN feedback. This refers to when the intracluster medium cools, it contracts and it becomes more dense. This not only leads to star formation, but also AGN activity. So there is material to feed the black hole. The feeding leads to an outburst by the supermassive black hole. Think of it like a huge burp. This drives the jets and winds and plasma into the intracluster medium. And it's so energetic that it heats up the intracluster medium, preventing it from cooling and cutting off the food supply to the black hole. So eventually the AGN activity stops, allowing the cooling of the intracluster medium to start again, and then you have this continuous feedback loop of this process. In other words, you can think of the supermassive black hole as a thermostat. They are regulating the temperature of galaxy clusters. Based on the observations of these systems, astronomers have been able to determine that only 1% of cooling gas ends up forming stars. In practice, however, the AGNs are still not a solved problem because theorists 
who model galaxy clusters with simulations still struggle to set the right amount of AGN feedback to form the number of stars we see in the observations without messing up other observable properties of galaxy clusters. That's all for this week's video. I'll link some papers below if you're interested in reading up more, but in the meanwhile, if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave me a like, share, and subscribe.